Hello from the University of Southern Maine. In this video, we're going to show you a little bit about the Classics program and some of the great opportunities it has in store. The Classics program is part of the Modern and Classical Languages and Literatures department and offers both self-designed majors and pre-designed minors of study in Greek, Latin, and Classical Humanities. Classes are led by Classics faculty, Drs. Peter Eicher and Janine Yuzi. Classes range in size from the largest of lectures to the more intimate settings. For the most part, we have classes with about 40 people. Um, the language classes are a little smaller, which is nice because for some of us who aren't as fluent with languages, <laughs> it makes it a little easier. The program itself is really small, which is so much fun because then you get to know all the students and the professors are there, so it's a very um, a social experience being a classics major and it's just really fun. Professors Peter Eicher and Janine Yuzi have a vast knowledge of the ancient Greek and Roman worlds, their cultures, and their languages. They both have a passion for the classics that has gone back many years. I signed up for French in 8th grade and the French class was full, so um, the administrators stuck me into Latin and I went home and said to my mother, oh no, I got stuck in Latin, and she said, well just take it and see how it goes. I loved it and uh, I was 12 and I said, I'm going to be a Latin teacher when I grow up. Yeah, I came to classics late. It wasn't until my senior year in college um, that I began the study of Latin and really didn't even know much about Greek or Greece or Rome. The, the, the classics held this mystique, especially Virgil, that he was sort of land, you know, lord of language. It was, uh, I was working for a plumber and he mentioned that his, um, his uh, niece was doing some Latin tutoring. So I showed up at her house with a, a textbook, a Latin textbook, and just outside of school uh, began the study of Latin that last year in college. Professor Eicher is an expert in Roman topography and architecture, has appeared on many nationally televised broadcasts about Rome, and is the author of several published books, including his latest two-volume book, Rome Alive. Yeah, what I, I went on to something which I really took a lot longer, and that was um, doing a, a book on the city of ancient Rome, not just the aqueducts, but all facets of the city, and came out with a book um, called Rome Alive, with the sense of this is what it was like when people actually lived there. Professor Yuzi specializes in ancient art and material culture, and is currently studying ancient sexuality. She is also the author of the book, Children in the Visual Arts of Imperial Rome. So when I got to graduate school at Duke, I decided I would take anything that was available um, on material culture. So I took archaeology courses, I took art history courses, and uh, just loved it. I was assigned a paper um, by a really good professor on Roman adoption. And through that paper, I became interested in children. So I thought, I'll combine these two interests. I'll take my interest in sculpture, my interest in the family, and look at the representation of the family in Roman art um, to learn more about how the Romans define their own families. Part of the passion that these two professors have for the classics resides in the fact that it is a very interdisciplinary study. I think classics allows you to explore these big questions that are relevant for all of our lives and it doesn't limit you to one methodology or one group of texts, but, you know, the field is open. So. Well, we happen to share, I think, from the beginning certain ideas about classics, and that for us, classics does um, comprise so many different fields, it's sort of interdisciplinary by nature. I mean, okay, there is the archaeology, there's the architecture, um, there's the philosophy, because you're going to deal with Plato, there's the historians like Thucydides and Herodotus. Um, then there's the great literature, which was my training, which is Homer and the tragedy. Um, and then religion, you can talk about religion and mythology. And that's just one core. That, that intrigues both of us, as does the dialogue between modernity and antiquity. Students often find the passion that these professors have and their attitudes to be quite contagious. Janine has this like unending energy, which I have no idea where she gets it from. 
<laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's really great. It's pretty awesome. Peter and Janine, uh, they work so well as a team, and they're both really interested in the students uh, on a personal level. Uh, I absolutely love Peter and Janine. Janine is so bubbly and fun. She makes every class so entertaining, and she definitely knows what she's talking about. I really like how Peter always has a million different projects going on, and it's really interesting to hear about all the different research that he's doing, even if it doesn't specifically tie into the class that he's teaching. DISCO, the Dionysian-inspired student classics organization, also enriches the learning experiences of students by bringing nationally acclaimed classics authors like Stanley Lombardo to the USM campus for readings, by organizing trips to classical plays, and finding ways to unite students in their love of the classics. I'm a member of the Classics Club, which is really, we do, you know, kind of nerdy stuff like, you know, watch uh, Clash of the Titans, the old version, and, you know, get snacks or whatever, which is fun. Wondering what to do with a classics degree after graduation? Classics offers a wide range of post-graduation opportunities. One thing that's really amazing about the classics uh, degree is that it has so many directions you can go with it. You can go in grad school. But, uh, you, know, you know, I've heard people say that you know, jobs with the government or even in banking, uh, we'll look at people with the classics degree as something that they have this uh, way of thinking or analyzing information that's foreign to most other people, other majors. Education, right off the bat, is a great one. You know, you can be a professor, you can be a high school teacher teaching, teaching English, you know, history, Latin, any of those things, which are really, really just great. It, it sets up really great for getting a law degree. Um, they like people who know Latin and Greek. I think what I'm going to focus on is the literature, which is really interesting. I mean, just the way um, classics have taught me to, to look at, at literature and what's going on within the stories, I, I think it's going to work really well for getting a master's. There are also scholarships for students who wish to study Latin or Ancient Greek at USM. More information about these can be found on the Classics website, or you can contact your future faculty at these email addresses. On behalf of the Classics program at USM, we hope you'll join a group of enthusiastic students and faculty in exploring some of the richest and most influential literature and culture of the last several thousand years. And don't worry, nerdiness is fun.